It's the second day of November, my friends, and you can see the pond is still looking pretty dang good. But what's looking terrible is the fact that there's so many mosquitoes here because I don't have anything in the pond that actually is controlling the mosquitoes until today. So take a look at what's going on. Some of the areas, as you remember, it's falling from there. The current's kind of taking us around and going this way, but some of the areas are a little stagnant. Not stagnant, it's just not moving that much. So take a look, I mean, it's hard to see, but there's stuff floating around on top of the water. Now those aren't mosquitoes, but mosquito larvae can definitely hang out in a pocket like that. And then over here where the dwarf papyrus is and some of this red plant that I keep forgetting the name of, I mean, come on, it's obvious that we're gonna get some level of mosquitoes. So that's why I've got the magic in that bag over there. So our little fish have been chilling actually probably warming up in the pond here, acclimating temperature wise, but I wanna show you each species that we've selected. So I have the three that we picked up from the pet store, and then this big bag here with the actual mosquito fish, Gambusia, that actually are free. So I'll put a couple of resources in the comments. These are so valuable of a species to control mosquitoes that at least in California, there's a free program to distribute these. But let's start it off with what's called the Loach Dojo, which sort of looks like catfish-ish. I don't know, I mean, you guys tell me what you think it looks like. But apparently, it's a great pond fish, can pretty much hide the second you put it in, so that's why I wanna show it to you. This might be the last time we ever really see it. There's our guy right there. Look at this guy, he almost has an eel-esque vibe to him, very active, and apparently can respond to barometric pressure by becoming more or less active. Maybe the pressure is such that he's freaking out right now. Maybe he just wants to, you know, live in a, in a new home. Next, we have the Chinese algae eaters. And this is also in the loach family, I believe. I'm not a fish expert. I am more of a plant guy. So correct me if I'm wrong here, guys. But these guys can get to about a foot long, over 10 year lifespan. And as the name implies, are great for controlling algae in the pond. I think they're not gonna be too disrupted or disruptive, and the koi won't mess with them too much. So those are those little guys. And they're, again, quite active. I don't think they're the most exciting looking fish, but hey, sometimes you just need those basics in there. And then we have the goldfish. So these are not koi, these are goldfish. And we have, I believe it's called the fantail, and we also have the shabunkin goldfish, which are both unique little breeds. Goldfish being one of the more ideal pond fish that you can have. So in go these guys. Let's go, guy. So look at these guys. Look at that one. Look at the, look at the one that's got the orange and, and black. And then these ones have sort of like a black bluish tint to them. Really beautiful, really beautiful. Look at that loach is going wild right now. Okay, before we get the mosquito fish in here, cause they're in their own little world, I wanna carefully introduce these guys to the pond first. All right, my friends. It's time to enter your new home, the Epic Pond. And they've already been acclimated, so they should be just fine. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the bowl, I'm gonna put them right here. Kind of float them, just like this. And let them let themselves out into the new world. Okay, maybe I'll help them a little bit. We'll turn the bowl. The loach doesn't want to go. There she goes. Look at that. The loach are ready on the ground. Just chilling out. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, because the koi are actually much larger. I've got some food. I'm gonna feed the koi. Hopefully they eat this. They don't eat the fish. I don't think they're going to. They're supposed to play nicely, but you never know. All right, koi. The koi, for some reason, have still not really acclimated to just eating the pelletized food. They just eat all the algae on the ground. So sometimes I don't even feed them and they just don't really seem to care, which is wild. But I'll throw a little bit more food in. There goes one, there we go. There we go. Oh, there we go. Nice. I honestly haven't seen them do that too much. Wow, okay. So these guys are in. Time to get the mosquito fish. Let's hope they're not eaten by the time I get back. But now the real killer of mosquitoes, or the primary killer, are these guys right here. 
So these guys were a whopping zero dollars and zero cents. They are free, at least here in California. This is Gambusia, the species. They're popular enough that people have made statues of them in areas that are really, really, really stricken with mosquitoes because of course you kill the mosquitoes, you eliminate the possibility of malaria to spread. So it's a, it's a very important fish. And we have five of them here grown in the local nurseries pond. They sort of just control their own population. They're gonna hang. So in they go. There we go. Oh, there's one more hanging up here. It doesn't wanna go. Oh, <laughs> the biggest one just slid right in. Okay, so take a look at these, my friends. Not the most exciting looking fish, but what they do for the pond is absolutely incredible. They just hunt and kill these mosquitoes like crazy. And in a pond of our size, these little guys will propagate themselves. They will go wild. I put six of these in the pond already. I have not seen them since except for one day. My guess is that they're in there still because they're tiny and the pond is huge. It's gonna be hard to see them, but you gotta trust they're doing the job. I can see the, lo oh, the loach. The loach is like eeling around in these crevices over here. It's gone in there now, it's, it's totally gone. Where's the rest of the guys? Where are the rest? Oh, there's, there's two of the goldfish. There's the, uh, I think the fantail or the shabunkin. I don't know which, which species it is. Those two guys are hanging out, kind of doing their own thing. Where is the rest of them? I don't know, but either way, these mosquitoes gotta go in. Same process. We'll kind of float them in here. Some of these are really small, so I, I honestly, I don't even know if we'll ever see these again. Like this guy right here, you can barely see him. He's like the size of a dime. So while they're acclimating, I wanna give you guys a couple more updates on what's going on here at the Epic Pond. What you'll notice is this little box here. The reason I had to run the box is because there's at least a few pieces of electronics you need to run the pond. First being, of course, the pond pump and the pond pump controller. So I can control it manually here with the power button and then there's levels of severity. I just run this on a one at all times because I find the flow is really peaceful at a one, which is the lowest setting. This also can connect to Wi-Fi. If I wanted to control it from my phone, I, I could. I don't really have, have the need to do so. Then, because I've only had one plug out here, I haven't been able to use these other pieces of gear. So I finally get to use these, which I'm really excited about. So right here, is the lighting mechanism. So I haven't even had my pond lights on that Ed so delicately and carefully placed in here to kind of throw the light around at night. So maybe tonight is the first time we're actually gonna see that. And then finally, this piece right here, this is actually quite heavy, is a copper ionizer. And what this does is it helps control the algae from a functional level, not just by putting the biologicals, the fish in there. So what I wanna do is wait until the sun goes down so I can turn the lights on, have the pump running and have the ionizer running and actually see if I can see the new fish tonight. And would you look at that, my friends, the pond actually has the lights in here. It's been so long since that's been the case. I can't even believe it. And I'm really curious if we can see anyone new down here. Actually, there's the koi, but the loach is hanging out. You can see that little white speck, that little line down there, that's the loach. And actually there's a tiny little goldfish right there. Ah, this is amazing. Much more coming from the Epic Pond.